Hi everyone, um, this is going to be a back level up tutorial and the tools you'll need is a ruler, an exacto knife, um, some scissors probably, and obviously your two rolls of duct tape. So I'm using two colors, I'm using mustache and pink, and we're going to be making this product today. Um, it's not going to be this exact one, but it's going to have three card card pockets and I'll show you that fit, two hidden pockets that fit, and an ID. And it's going to be really thin. So what you're going to do first is you're going to cut out two eight and, um, eight and a quarter strips of, tape, strips of tape of each color. And you're going to place the secondary color on top of the first one and leave a quarter inch of space. So I'm just doing that now. And then you're going to fold the mustache over on the pink or whatever color um, for nice even trimming. Because you don't want to have any rough edges. So I'm doing that. Um... So now what you're going to do is you're going to um, line your tape up. Uh, sorry, I'm having a little trouble. I'm showing you what we're making. So you're not going to have to line up the mustache tape right now. You're going to have to um, do it on the second sheet, but right now you don't have to worry about that because you're not going to see it. So you're going to line it up on one of the marks for your cutting board, and you're going to make it so it is three inches tall. And... Um, so I'm peeling that up, and now you're just going to take the other piece, and you're going to cover up the rest of the stickiness. So I'm doing that. And now you're just going to trim the sides, as you can see I did. So now it should be, you should trim it down to 8 inches. So that's what I am now, I'm just creasing it a little bit. Now I am cutting out the pockets and hidden pockets. And all you're going to do is if you're going to make three credit card pockets and two hidden pockets, then you're going to cut out 14 three and three quarter inches of tape, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm showing you that I have all my tape cut out. So it should be 14 inches in total, and they are each three and three quarter inches. And so you're going to take your first one, you're going to flip it over. And you're going to take another one, and you're going to stick it right on top of the first one, like directly on top. And so that's one card pocket. So I'm going to make three more of those. So doing that. I mean two more of those, sorry. So now I should have three credit card pockets in total. So here's our hidden pocket. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one strip and um, you're going to take the second one and place it so it has a quarter inch sticking showing. So now you have a quarter inch. And what you're going to do is you're going to place it on your cutting mat so that the one and a quarter inch is above it and the non-sticky part is um like on the inch mark so you're going to make it so it's three inches tall not including the one fourth stickiness that you left um because you want the yeah so you'll kind of see what i mean in a second it's really hard to explain so now you're just going to take the other one make it three inches tall and you're going to cover up the rest of the stickiness um so now i'll make the second one just so you guys can see it another time so you're just going to leave a quarter inch, and you're going to um, line it up on the cutting board. And then you're going to make three inches tall. And cover the rest of the stickiness. And now you're just going to um, trim your hidden pockets down just a little bit. You don't want to cut off too much. You want to make it so they can still be basically three and three quarters inches. So, I'm going to show you how to stick it on. You're just going to take your inside sheet and you're going to um, put it like corner, corner to corner. And you're just going to fold over that quarter inch stickiness so it blends in with the trim that you already made. So now you're just going to do that. And I'm just showing you right now that it works as a flat. And now I'm just going to trim my second one. And I'm just attaching it because you guys already saw how to attach it, so you're just going to fold it over. And I was doing a little adjustment right there. So now that you have that, you're just going to set that aside. And now we are going to trim the credit card pockets. And you don't want to, same with the hidden pockets, like, same thing with the hidden pockets. You don't want to trim them down too much, but you do want to have it so there's no sticky on the edges. So I'm just doing that. And um, you can use scissors for this. I actually usually do. This is one of the rare times that I have used my X-Acto knife. Um, but, yeah. So, now you have your three credit card pockets. And it is time for the trimming. 
by the credit card pockets. And I'm also showing you, um, because we're going to include an ID in this. I'm just trying to see if you guys can see that. So now we're going to do the trimming for that. Um, so you're just going to cut out uh, pieces about the size of the pocket, maybe a little bit bigger, so you can have excess just to cut off. And you're going to cut one in half. Um, you're going to cut the first one in half, and then you're just going to stick it on. I'm usually not this good at freehanding trims, but uh, you can use your ruler however you want to do it. Um, I usually hold mine up to the light to see if uh, I got the trim straight. So I actually got quite lucky this time around. So that one wasn't quite perfect. So I just fold that one over. So now we have that one, and then we have the last one. And the other piece is going to be for the trimming for the ID. So now you have your three credit card pockets, and we're just trimming the excess trim off of them. So now you have your three credit card pockets with nice even trimming. And now we're doing the ID, and I like to have a smooth edge on the ID. I recently just started making a smooth edge. I actually used to um, just cut a strip and put it on, but now it's nice and even. Um, I like it with a smooth edge way better. So I just cut off the excess of the ID too. So now we're going to start sticking the ID and the credit card packets on the bottom of the wallet. Um, I like to use clear tape to stick down my pockets. I recently started doing that because they slide in much, much easier. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm just cutting that about the size of the pockets and I cut it in half so I can um, attach it to the pocket. So we have one pocket. And then this piece you'll see I put on the crease um, of the hidden pocket because the first pocket won't slide in really nice if you don't do that. Um, and you will end up having one half piece of clear tape left over, which is fine. But um, You'll see in a second here I do make a mistake. Um, you'll just see that. Uh, so I just stuck that first one down with clear tape and I'm going to cut another piece of clear tape to stick down the second one. The third one, I do not use clear tape to stick down because I find that it works better if you use duct tape to stick down the third one. I don't know why. It just like kind of tends to peel up. So, putting the second one down. And you'll see that I fold it over the hidden pocket, not into the hidden pocket, which is not what you're supposed to do. So now I'm just going to take that little leftover strip from the trimming and I'm just going to use that little piece. And if you disposed of that, then um, you can just... Yeah, see, you see that I made the mistake there of putting it over the whole thing so now I just fold it into the hidden pocket um, so now I'm folding that into the hidden pocket and this pocket gave me a little trouble I think I needed to space it out better but it actually turned out um, to work out so now I'm just going to fold that into the hidden pocket and it's evenly spaced now um, I'm just showing you guys that they fit nice and easily and they're really 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 so now we're going to, I'm just moving that piece of uh, clear tape out of the way. So now we're going to attach the sides of the hidden pockets, I mean not the hidden pockets, the pockets. So you're just going to take a three inch piece of tape and you're going to cut it in half and you're going to stick about a quarter inch, maybe a little less of a, than a quarter inch on that side and you're going to fold it into the hidden pocket. So it looks like that and you're going to trim off any excess and you're going to do the same thing with the ID. Um, if you need another piece to hold it down, because it sometimes can move on you and be a little tricky. So you're going to do the same thing with that, so you have, it's even. Um, and always trim any excess off the edge. So now we are going to make the outside sheet, and I'm going to show you on the other wallet, like what I'm going to point out what we're making next. We're going to make that sheet, so we're going to do that now. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to need to take an 8 inch piece of tape of your second color, like your gold color. And you're going to need to um, do the same thing that you did with the other one, basically, except a little different. You're going to want to take an 8-inch piece of tape. You'll see me do it. So cut an 8-inch piece of tape and then also stack it 3 inches high and maybe a little higher so the outer billfold's either taller or, um, or the same size, whatever you prefer. And so you're just going to make it perfectly 8 inches and 3 inches tall. And you're just going to peel that off. And the stash um, can be lined up, so I do end up lining it up. But if it's just a solid color tape, you don't really have to worry about that. So then you're going to cut out a 9-inch piece of tape of your outside color so you have stickiness on all sides of the wallet, which you'll see in a second here. So I'm going to cover 
um, you're going to make sure that you have a quarter inch at the top and it's probably going to be about a half inch at the sides that you'll end up trimming. So you'll see that once I peel up the other side when I'm done lining it up. So now I can line up these two. So I'm lining up the mustache. And I never made a mustache wallet, so it was it was pretty easy to line up the mustache, to be honest. Um, so now I'm going to flip over this, and you'll see that I have stickiness on all four sides. And next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut boxes in all four corners, and you'll see why in a second. If it sounds confusing, um, you'll understand in a minute. So I'm doing that now, cutting all four boxes. And this one ended up being crooked because I forgot that I cut that one slit and I didn't hold on to the box and it got here. <laughs> so I'm doing that, fixing that. Um, so one more. And now you're going to take the shorter sticky edge and you're going to fold it over so you have a nice even trimming like you do on the other piece. I do that. And I kind of... Let's see. Let me see. I should have made it a little harder. So... I don't know why I zoomed in there, just to kind of show you the trimming, I guess. <laughs> so, fold that over. So now that you have that done, you are going to um, trim, sorry for my chair squeaking. You're going to trim the sides so they're nice and even and they're the same length on each side. Um, I do mine a little more than a half inch and a little... I mean, sorry, a little more than a quarter inch and a little less than a half inch on each side because I think they need to have enough, like, attaching to them. So now I'm doing that on each side so I have a nice smooth edges because it's probably uneven, like, you're not going to make it perfect. Um, so now I'm going to take the other part, my main part, and I'm just, I'm going to fold the bottom up first because I like to have no sticky on mine. I don't flip out if they have sticky on the bottom, but uh, it's just a personal preference, honestly. I could care less, but I know a lot of people like that, so I do the bottom first, and then I just take my leftover strip, because I ran out of tape, um, so I had to open a new pink one, but I'm just going to take the leftover strip from that, and I'm going to place that on, and then I'm going to take a little chunk from that piece, um, so I'm going to do that, and cover up the rest, and now we are going to fold over the sides, make sure it's nice and even. Same on the poppet side. So there we go. So now you have your billfold. And now I'm going to cut the credit card slots and the ID and the hidden pocket um, edges. And usually I cut them a different way, but I was kind of in a hurry. I had like no room on my camera left. So I'm doing that. I had to end up deleting quite a few videos. <laughs> so I cut all those and now I am just showing you it has, um, <coughs> so the end product should have three credit card pockets and they should all fit very nicely. There's the first one, there's the second one, and there's the third one. And the hidden pockets and it should fold evenly with them. And, um, the wallet turns out to be really thin in the back here. Second hidden pocket. And finally the ID. So yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!